here are the dedicated men and women at AMRAD Engineering that diligently work to make what I think are the best run capacitors on the market. Have you ever wondered how run capacitors like these by AMRAD Engineering are made? Stay tuned and find out. This is the winding room. It's the first step towards making a run capacitor. In this room there are 10 winding machines. They wind all of the capacitors that AMRAD Engineering makes. That includes the single, the dual, and the turbo 200 series. This is one of the six winding machines that is set up to wind the turbo 200. Here you can see each of the separate microfarad ratings being wound as the winding machine spins. Here's how the windings look after they've been wound. After the windings are wound, zinc is sprayed onto the windings. The gun pulls zinc wire from these 500 pound barrels of zinc. The gun controls a delicate balance between two zinc wires each wire has an opposite polarity thereby creating an arc. At the same time, air blows through the arc and sprays zinc onto the windings. Here's how the windings look after they've been sprayed and the excess of zinc has been removed. Here the solder is applied to each winding. Here the wires are soldered onto the capacitor windings. Here, heated LG22 oil is poured into the empty case. Then the windings are inserted into the case. Then more heated LG22 oil is added just before closing the case. The capacitors are then loaded in burn-in racks where 460 volts is applied for 30 minutes at 85 degrees C. Into the oven they go. At this station, the Turbo Easy Start capacitors are tested once every minute for one million cycles.
After the burn-in phase of the testing, the capacitors are cooled before going on to be tested further on this table where they are tested between each terminal to the case and each terminal to terminal to test the barrier. Also they are tested twice with the motor. Finally they are tested for capacitance and DF which is a quality indicator for the long term health of the part. Once the testing stage is completed, the labels are rolled onto the case and the capacitor is serial numbered and date stamped for warranty and quality control purposes. Once the capacitor is rolled down this conveyor belt, they are ready to be packaged with instructions, marketing materials, and a sharpie marker. Here's 35,000 capacitors all boxed up and ready to ship. The final stage of the process is when the capacitors are loaded into a truck and sent to the distributor and finally sold in HVAC parts stores.